Oh, okay. So then it's 12.30. Like around, it's 6.49ish over there. I need to like maybe put a speaker on this or something. Okay, we are live on Facebook. We're at the moment uh, with our logo screen on Facebook. Let me go ahead and check YouTube just to make sure we're good there. Okay, we should be good on YouTube. Hello. Hello. Okay. You're having so much fun with it. I love it. <laughs> Where's this other person that looks like a supermodel? The picture. <laughs> that is Austin. <gasps> is that's he the here? Body voice that's talking to you. Is My camera's like being that? wonky, so that's why I'm not on camera. Ah. Plus, I look disgusting right now. <laughs> okay, we're going to be switching over to the live screen. So let's go ahead and do that. And can I see that? You won't be able to can see. Can we see that on here? Um, on here, it, you're just going to see the normal screen. On Facebook, you'll see all the, uh, all the text and the logos, all the fun stuff uh, for people to enter the giveaway. Things like that. So we'll make. So sure you're gonna have to like read what people are asking. Yes. Because I can't see it. Yes. Yeah, so Austin's gonna be um looking at the questions and asking it at the end of the interview. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so you guys, this is Rangers live chat. Happy October, you guys! It's October first. You know what that means? That means Halloween. Halloween. Candy. Halloween. No. You know, all the fun. So, you guys, I'm here with uh, Lewis. Lewis is here, who is technically eating his dinner at 9 o'clock or almost 10. I don't know why he's eating so late. Austin's here. He's going to be in the background, going to get the viewer questions. Hey, guys. He's at the moment is MIA, so he'll be around, right, Austin? Of course. <laughs> and tonight we have our special guest. I hope I get your name right, because sometimes I butcher everyone's name, even yes. mine, of course. Uh, Peta, or Peta Marie Rickson, correct? Peta Marie Rickson. Yes. How are you doing today? Like pita bread. Pita bread? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm sitting outside in sunny Sydney. There's only a few clouds in the sky you can see. Have a look. Clouds. It's nice and shiny out there. Cloud. Me. <laughs> I need my glasses to see, by the way. And then they go dark in the sun. And then they go light if I'm inside. So, you guys, just to let you guys know, Peter's the one who was the Alpha 5 in the Power Rangers movie suit. So, you guys, um, we also have a giveaway that's coming from her from Sydney, Australia. She's going to give it away. Why don't you go ahead and tell the viewers what you're giving away? Okay, so I'm going to be giving away, um, if any of you know, the Loyal Subjects released at San Diego Comic-Con this year. Um, a little Alpha 5 from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. So I'm going to give away one signed one of those together with a signed picture. And I'll ship it to you. Yes. So you guys, all you have to do for that is just put a number in the comment section. A number from one to two fifty, two hundred and fifty-five, and um, at the end of the live interview, we'll use the generator, the random generator website, to pick a number, and you'll win. So that's all you have to do is put a number below in the comment section. So one through two hundred and fifty-five. So, uh, Lewis, you have a second question. Just go watch it and put in the number, please. So tell us about yourself. To win that tell, tell you about myself? Yes. There's too much. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, that what right? can I say? 
Uh, now at that current, uh, I'm going to be moving down south. Um, I'm looking after my auntie. She's 83. She's got Alzheimer's dementia, which is a very sad disease. Um, I've done a lot of things in arts. I've done producing and directing and set design and art direction, clothes stylist, um, and production management, production coordinating. I just love anything to do with the arts. And then healthcare as well. So I just did healthcare because my goal is to do my master's in art therapy. And then I want to focus on people with um, post-traumatic stress disorder. Oh, wow. Yeah, because supposedly um, I've been doing some research into it. So I've got my teaching background, my arts background, and now my healthcare background, which is good for arts therapy because you need the three of those together. Mm -hmm. um, and where we hold trauma in our mind, in our brain, is the same place where creativity comes from. So expressing yourself either through art therapy or music therapy, mm -hmm. writing therapy, et cetera, um, is very beneficial. So that's where I'm going. Oh, wow. Um, just let the viewers know, um, if you have any questions for Peter, please go ahead and put them in the comment section below. Austin will grab those uh, at our end of our questions. Um, so the next question is, did you know anything about Power Rangers before auditioning for the, to be Alpha? No, it hadn't. Um... Oh, sorry about that. It looks like we're getting double the video. Just one moment. Okay. Sorry about that. You Go bet. ahead. Yeah, no. So what happened was, um, the casting started when the pilot had been done so it hadn't even been released um and then i did about five auditions for it um and then it went down to like 10 people and five people then three people um and then finally i got the part um so i had no idea what i was doing um i knew it was about and i had no idea when we we're doing costume oh wow look at the spandex suits and all that kind of stuff um, and then going over the script, I got a lot of idea. And then in rehearsals, because um, we had rehearsals every day. Um, and I would do the robot voice because there was no way I could speak in a normal voice and play that character. And then Brian Spicer, the director, kept going, you can just do your normal voice. And I'm like, oh, so I'm going to be a little robot. My body needs to move. I can't. Like, my brain's not going to work that way. Um, so I would do a little robot voice. And then I couldn't see it all. So I had a choreographer that would take me through all the steps um, so that I didn't trip over anything or run into the panel. And then I'd have to like press buttons and then turn around and speak to them. But yet I couldn't see where they were. So it was really interesting. Oh, wow. Was, was it tough being in the suit? It was really hot. And um, we didn't realize because it was not letting my body breathe. Um, I passed out. Oh, when they were doing the making of Entertainment Tonight, we're filming. And then my body all swelled up. Um, and then they realized, oh, your body needs to breathe. So they got um, oxygen tanks and had fishing tubes or cannulas um, in different areas of my body just to keep the oxygen going through. Because like that lady that did, is it Goldfinger, 007? And they painted her gold and she suffocated. Because your body needs to breathe. You don't just breathe through your mouth and nose. I think Hello? that's the next question. Sorry about that. All right. So how was it being on set? It was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was great going in, like, because you had different hours. And with the union laws here, there has to be like a 12 hour turnaround. So let's say if you finished at 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., because we did sometimes film until um, all hours in the morning, you weren't allowed back on set for another 12 hours. So that's how they worked out, you know, what your hours were. Um, but it was great. And at that time, that was where they used to have a thing here called the Easter show. So, 
um, that's when Fox decided to purchase the property and turn it into Fox Studios. Um, how was it filming in the in your backyard in the Sydney, Australia area for the Power Rangers? How was that? Oh, filming here, it was yeah. great. It was it was good. Um, no one had any idea what Power Rangers was, so if I spoke about it, they were like, "What's that?" <laughs> <laughs> um so it was good there was a lot of more on and on, what do you call that what's that word and anonymous anonymity or whatever it is um whereas now if someone was filming power rangers here it, it's a different scenario because all, all the fans would turn up and oh. um be outside waiting or whatever but back then there wasn't it wasn't known it had only just started so it was it was still growing back then. It was awesome. And then I went to the uh, final scene, you know, at the Darling Harbor with the fireworks. Oh, yes. So I was sitting at the table there without my costume. <laughs> so that, is that part of one of the movie scenes? Are, are yeah, you the last scene, you know, when they're, um, the fireworks are going off. Yes. So I was there. I don't know. I don't think you can see me though. Um, but I just went to other scenes anyhow. When they were filming, if and if I wasn't in it, I would still be there because I'd have my own rehearsals um, and my own choreography because I had a choreographer. Um, so I still had to work, or else I'd just sit around and hang around with everyone. <laughs> I definitely remember that scene really well. So if I can, I'm going to look back and see if I can find you in one of those scenes. <laughs> um, let's see. Lewis, you're up. Lewis, one stop second. eating, 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 eating. <laughs> Lewis, like, Hungry. he's in New York. He has all the good food. That sucks that you're very busy. Did you see the new uh, Power Rangers movie? Did I see the new Power Rangers movie? Is that a question? Yeah, I went to yeah. the premiere here. Saban um, sent me an invite. So I took a friend of mine and we went to the premiere. Um, and it was good. They had like a little photo booth thing, uh, great setup and food. Um, and I enjoyed it. I went back and watched it again. I liked, I liked the new picture because it's not the same but everything has to move forward. Um, and I think they were, you know, trying to get a new audience or appealing to a different market. Um, and there's a lot of great things in the film. I enjoyed it. A lot of people didn't, you know, and some people did. Mm. How did it, yeah. How did, the new movie, um, how did you feel about the, the exhibitor pass going to give alpha. me free access to well, the alpha was an original <laughs> Well, he's completely animated now, so he's like CGI. You gotta, there's you gotta get no the wristband. Person in a costume anymore, and that's a lot. There's hardly any character costume workers. Um, so I think Bill Hader. I like the voice that he did, kind of, but it's not the classic. But you're always gonna have the classic. You've always got me. You know. Yeah. <laughs> We I'm can't still see the that we remember. I missed that. So you want to go in? I worked there, but I'm gonna see. Um, did you uh, did you think that the I Power Rangers fan? What are you watching? <laughs> what I'm watching, I have the Food Network on. <laughs> and you're eating food. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm eating food at the same time. <laughs> um, did you think that the Power Rangers fandom will be this big. I missed that. You need to talk louder. What? Did Do you think that the Power Rangers fandom will be this big? The fandom? Yeah. Being this big? No. Uh, back when I started, I would never have imagined, like I don't think any of us did, that 25 years later, it would still be going and they'd be making another film. But that is like, that's success in a franchise. Um, that's something that I think we're all proud of because it's continued. Um, people enjoy it. And as long as, you know what, as long as the fans and everything enjoy 
watching it and love the fandom. That's what it's about. Speaking of Alpha 5, what do you think Alpha is doing now? What do I think Alpha is doing right now? Yes. If you can think of an uh, imaginary, if Alpha was real, what do you think Alpha is doing now as a fun? Oh, player? okay. So last uh, Alpha would be in the command center last no. saving the world. 100% fucks me up. <laughs> right? He has to keep on working, right? Yeah. <laughs> But Alpha, I think the TV show, it became Alpha 6. Yes. Um, and then there was no more Alpha. Alpha, like, where did Alpha go? To Alpha. some planet, right? Yes. Yeah. So he's still on that planet. <laughs> I he's think just they waiting to come Alpha back. Alpha family. I well, think awesome. after, after all the work Alpha has done, he deserves to have a family. Yeah, so there's like little alphas. <laughs> there's alpha one, alpha two, alpha three. Um, alpha alpha. <laughs> yeah, alpha 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 junior. Master alpha. <laughs> alpha kitty cat. What would an alpha girl's name be? Alpha princess alpha. Alpha. <laughs> So, little Alfina. <laughs> yeah, little Alpha Peter. So, oh. now that you're in has anyone picked any numbers? Oh yes, we are getting several numbers on the in the comment section. We have uh, one so more. So remember, it's between one to two hundred fifty-five. Is that right? Two fifty. How many numbers do you have viewing? Like, let's go ahead. I think Austin's keeping track. Let's see. Ah. We have numbers. Because remember, if you pick a number and someone else has already picked that number, the first person that picked it is going to be the winner. So you got to make sure that you haven't chosen that number. Of course. So pay attention, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Scroll through there. <laughs> yeah, and then one maybe... More somebody can like see is there any numbers left yes there has to be right 255 numbers you are definitely getting all the love and likes we are seeing it in the, in the comment section i have one more question since you're living in australia what's the one place that you recommend visiting um in australia for us who have never visited australia what do you recommend visiting oh there's so many beautiful places here um I haven't been, like, I haven't been to the Northern Territory. So they have, like, a, this huge rock, Ayers Rock, which you can Google the history. Um, and they do a camel ride there. And then you can have dinner at when the sun's setting over the rock. And then all the stars are out. It's just beautiful. Uh, let's see, Tasmania. I haven't been there either, but that's supposed to be beautiful. I'm picking a place I haven't been yet. I haven't been to South Australia. Um, that's supposed to be pretty. Uh, Queensland, I've been there. I've been to Cairns and Great Barrier Reef. Great Barrier Reef's pretty. Brisbane's okay. Gold Coast is like, it's got like Movie World and uh, Sea World. Um, it's like a theme park area. But it's got a long strip and it's got like a huge, huge, huge golden beach that just goes along with lots of waves and everything. Um, then Sydney. Sydney's like pretty awesome. So there's a lot of places in Sydney that you can visit, like Bondi. That's pretty well known. And then the city. Um, and if you went up north, up the coast, because uh, I'm like a beachy kind of girl. I like the beach and I love the water. Um so there's a lot of beautiful beaches all the way up there. And then going down south, there is like uh, Jarvis Bay. Um, there's beautiful places and beautiful little country towns as well. We have a lot of country towns, which you wouldn't know. You could like go inland and everything's like really slow. Um, just like I guess with you guys, how you have country towns as well. Of course. 
Oh, and then WA, um, Cottesloe, Scarborough, Hillary's, those all different areas. And then Broome, which is up north, um, that also has like on the beach, you could cross when the sun's going down. And the sun sets on that side because that's the west coast. The sun sets on the ocean on that side and it rises on this side. Hello. <laughs> so now. Blue sky. Look, I'm in the clouds. My head's in the clouds. <laughs> Hello. So now we're going to get to <laughs> our YouTube and Facebook questions. Um, I will pass it along to Austin. Austin, it's your turn. I am here. Yes. Okay. So our first, uh, it's not much of a question. It's more of a statement. Um, Tyrone Swamberg hopes to see you in Florida or at a Florida con or at Ranger Stop next year, um, if that's at all possible. So Yeah, for sure. Because I was going to go this year, but um, unfortunately, we sold the house here, and then we're moving. Um, and because of the timing, there is no way that I can pack a house and then go to Florida and then come back. Um, and because I've got my responsibilities with my auntie looking after her, I can't just leave her because she needs to eat food and things. Um, but now I've got like respite care for her that I can put her in through, but it's, um, not in the middle of a move. I wouldn't do that with her. So I will Tyrone. I promise. <laughs> I just want to say before we go into the next question, I think it's very commendable that you are doing what you're doing not only for your auntie, but like the, the education that you're furthering. I think that's a great field. And you're, you went from being a hero on the screen to a hero in real life. And I can't yeah. thank you for that. You know, there's not enough care in the world for people. Um, I mean, we all care and we all care for our own loved ones and everything. Um, but sometimes we don't care for strangers or whatever. And then sometimes there's people like veterans and people like that, and they might not have any family mm -hmm. and being available to do art therapy or something like that with them, that helps. It's all about helping and making a person um, feel important and feel better about themselves um, and know that they're worthy, that they're worth something. Yeah, I forget the saying exactly, but life is about the smiles that you, like, are able to give or something like that. It's not yeah. about the money. Um, our next question. Let's go from, from a serious topic to a fun topic. Um, can mm -hmm. you do Alpha's voice? Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Rangers, Rangers. <laughs> I used to do it all the time in the oh. film. I don't think I sound like it. I do a little bit. Everyone's like, can you do it? I'm like, ay, 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 <laughs> Sounds a bit like it, right? Yeah. It sounds exactly like that. Anytime we can have anybody could do their voices, it brings back so many memories for all of us. Yeah, exactly. And when I'm at cons, I do do it for everybody. Because um, it's fun. It's what you remember about Alpha, you know? Whereas the uh, new Alpha is like, Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> it's like a Mexican alpha, right? <laughs> Arriba. Yeah, it was very uh, cartoonish. Yeah. It was very different. <laughs> um, the next question is, what was it like being in the command center before and after it was destroyed? Oh, it was good. Um, they had stairs. So if I was in costume, I'd have to be carried up onto the set. Oh, wow. Well, because of the, um, if I was screwed into the costume offset, I couldn't bend my leg enough to get upstairs. Um, so sometimes it was like getting the costume, which took about an hour to screw on um, offset. And then they'd carry me up the stairs. And it was like people that worked in the fire department. Um, I'm just going to move back here a bit in the shade because the sun's killing me. <clears throat> so it was like mainly fireys because they were always there because safety was a huge thing um, because of the wiring and it was an enclosed space. Um, and then 
when they literally destroyed the command center around me and I was, I was in the middle and those pylons were falling around me. They didn't like, there was no magic to that. It was, let's hope that she doesn't get killed by a pylon. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they were good. They were waiting. You know, if something happened, if the, if it didn't fall at place, it was supposed to go, they would have got me out. Um, but it was good that I couldn't see because I couldn't anticipate anything. So I just ran around in circles going, ay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. Well, thankfully, no injury occurred. Yeah, there was none. <laughs> um, were there any items that you were able to keep or maybe steal from the set? No, um, I wouldn't steal anything. But I did keep, like, the guy that made my costume. Um, gave me my little alpha toy that was in a packet and it's still in the packet. I've never taken it out. Um, I've still got like the cast sheet um, with all the contacts and everything. Um, I've still got my contract. So those little memorabilia things are things that you keep forever um, because they have sentimental value. Of course, definitely. Um, our next question is, what are your plans for, you said you're starting summer, correct? Summer? Yeah. Is, did you say you're starting your summer? So we're in spring right now. Uh-huh. Um, summer starts December. Okay. What are your plans for spring then? So for spring, um, I'm going to be packing the next few weeks to move house. Um, so that's pretty much it up until November 20. So I'll be moving then and then we're getting into Christmas. Um, so then I'll be unpacking and getting ready for January, um, February. I'm supposed to be going to Perth. I've been invited to a thing called film, film calm down under as a VIP guest. Um, and then I plan on visiting family. I've got family in San Antonio in Texas so I'm hoping to go see them because they were living in Hawaii and I was supposed to see them um, two years back, I think, or last, no, yeah, two years back. But I couldn't because my auntie's health and that. Um, so I missed out on Hawaii and being able to stay there for free, but at least I'll be able to see them in San Antonio. And then I got another cousin that just got married in Chicago and he's moved to Arizona Oh, wow. And then some cousins in uh, Seattle. <laughs> so I'm going to go and see some family and stuff there. That's awesome. Well, congratulations to all of them. Yeah. Like major life events. Um, Chris Baldwin would like to know, um, other than like your education, are there any projects that you're working on? Um, I'm going to be furthering my studies to do with um, arts therapy projects um i do have a playwright guy that i have to follow up with um who i commissioned to do a play for me so okay. that's a small little project um and then um that's about you know i've just got to like care I, i'm pretty much just caring for my auntie and then focusing on studies and then i do have some things but i can't talk about them unfortunately they're like <laughs> so we'll be looking forward to those. we'll be looking forward to those uh hold on i can't hear you the birds are too loud <laughs> we'll be looking forward to those announcements sooner or later yeah and then one last question for you do you have any advice for yes. someone trying to break into the entertainment industry um i think that um, mentoring is a big thing, so get yourself a mentor. doesn't matter what part of the industry you want to be in. If you want to be a runner, you want to be in production, um, if you want to do theater, you want to do film, you want to do television, you want to do commercials, advertising, whatever, um, choose people that you can emulate and that are, can be a positive um, enforcement in your life because that's really, really important. If you see someone and you're like, you know what, I wish I could be like that person, you should never be afraid to contact people and ask them because it's either a yes or a no. So you have a 50-50 chance. Um, so I think doing that and never, ever giving up. And then 
always um, strengthening your skills, learning new skills. Um, I never thought that I would be able to write a production book. So I can write like I get contracted for shows, which are live shows, and I will write um, for the lighting people and the sound people, and I'll write the whole production book. That's something I never thought that I could do. But luckily, I fell into it and learned it. Um, I had a mentor myself who was a Japanese um, gentleman who passed away in 2008. Oh, I'm sorry. And he was an amazing live show producer. And I met him at a show that I was doing in Sydney, which was raising money for kids with cancer. And I said to him, oh, can, can you be my mentor? You don't have to pay me or anything. You know, I just want to be like you. And he's like, sure. Well, I'm going to be coming out a couple of times a year and doing shows and bringing out um, people. And he said, but you know what I really need? I really need a costume person. And I said, oh, I can do costume. I could do costume, which I couldn't. But I had to learn really, really fast. And it's not like making costumes. It was actually like they'd have like these shows and then it was maybe 30 different dancers with four different segments and I'd have to like find those costumes within three days plus be the assistant producer but it taught me a lot and it gave me the skills for styling which I've done for uh, magazines and things like that for models um, and other shows so you're never ever out of work mm -hmm. you know you can work in wardrobe you can do so many things in the arts so yeah, never limit yourself I definitely agree, with you. definitely agree with you about the whole mentor thing. Uh, mentor, no matter what field you're in, is one of the most important things if you want to advance in any career possible. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, I've had a touch or two in the wardrobe department in, in college. It's one of the most stressful jobs out there, but it's so rewarding. <laughs> yes, it so is. Rewarding. We actually have I a know, friend. I was going to have a nervous breakdown by the end of it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we actually have a friend who works in the wardrobe department at our school, so we know how much stress that is. And uh, yeah, yes, but it's worth it because you get so you learn a lot of skills. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and during this time, um, while we are looking at the numbers, Lewis is going to pull a number. He's going to let me know, or and I'm going to look through the comments and okay. find that number that's closest to that number. And we will announce it while Austin plays a little game with Peta about how many characters she can name from the Power Ranger movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Louis, please. But my battery's me. dying. So if my battery dies and I go, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll quickly find that number. Louis, please send me the number through our chat and we will find who is our giveaway winner. So I guess I have to play a game with you. <laughs> and don't mind the back. This is all the comments that are coming through on my end, you guys. Okay, so come on, what's the game? What's the game? Come on, Austin. What's the game? Let's do. We can we can do more than just Power Ranger stuff. Let's do. Hmm. Let's. Well, I'll make it harder. Robots or Zords in Power Rangers. No, don't do that. <laughs> I'll give, you, I'll, give you an easy one. I'll give you an easy one. Cities in uh, Australia. Okay. Alphabetical order. I have to name cities from A to Z? Yeah. Or towns? Okay, let's see. Um, A for Ashfield, B for Burwood, C for Coogee, D for D-Y, E for Eastwood, C-D. F F for French's Forest, G for <laughs> Groves Garden. I think I just made that one up. H for Haverfield. We're in the United States, so it's okay. We'll I, huh? I we'll for Eagle. We're in the United States, so. <laughs> you name you name Australian cities A to Z. Go. Uh. Game over. <laughs> Australian animals, koala, kangaroo, platypus, uh, red-backed spider. We have the deadliest spiders and snakes in the world. See, that makes you me know not that? want to come anymore. <laughs> that makes me not want to come. That's scary. Yeah, but they're like nowhere. You, they're With my luck, I would find one the first day I'm there. 
Have we got the number yet, Lewis? He's pulling it as we speak. So he's too busy he's eating. Stuff huh? in his mouth. He was too busy stuffing his mouth. He's ordering more food. That's why I think. <laughs> no, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Before. Please send me the number for our chat, and I will look at the number and find the nearest person. I just don't want anybody to delete their number or change their number, so that's the reason why we're doing it this way. On Facebook, you have the option to edit your comments. Ooh. We don't want sneaky people. No. Hold on. Sorry. I had to, had to find my charger. Their phone's gonna die. Hurry up. It's a race my against time, guys. It did that little pop up thing with, you know, your battery is so much. <laughs> oh, where is it at? I don't know because if I click on you, you're gonna go and I can't see what it's at. It said 10%. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, you should be fine. Uh, you, you're fine. Did you not charge Ooh, Lewis, your phone I can last your night? Nose. <laughs> Did you not charge your phone last night? Okay, um, as of now, as everyone know, um, the contest has ended. So if you're still adding numbers, I do apologize. So yeah. So it's for the loyal subjects. Um, the loyal subjects. That is one more time. The loyal subjects. So they did a launch at SDSS. No, SDCC, San Diego Comic Con, for the little alpha toy. Um, so you're going to get that signed, and then you will get a signed picture as well. Yes. And a blue kiss. <laughs> so let's see. Still waiting for Lewis for that number. Here we go. Come on, Lulu. <laughs> Lewis okay, is dressed you. as a Red Ranger. Oh, I can ask you a question. If you got to be a ranger, what color would you be? Oh, I'd be green. Why green? Because. <laughs> because. <laughs> I love pink, though, as you can tell. Pink hat. Yes. Pink sweater. Now, the question is, pink are shoes. you a Yankee? Fan? So I'd probably be pink because pink's my favorite color. Okay, I'm checking the numbers now. Let's see. Whoever gets to the closest, the first one that gets to the closest. Let's see. Drum roll, drum roll. <laughs> so, I think we have a winner, you guys. Yay. And if, hopefully, we got the right number. Okay, <laughs> lucky number was 125. 102 or 125. And that person Yay. who got close was, I just saw the name. Was hopefully I don't mess the word the number or the n last name. It is Falk Parkridge. So congratulations! Oh, I know Scotty. Falk. So yay, Scott! So <clears throat> yay, Scott! So Scott, send me your um mailing address. Just PM it to me or DM it to me because I I know Scott. Scott's on my page. Yay! <laughs> yay! Congratulations, congratulations Scott! Yes. So again, you guys, thank you so much for joining us here on Rangers Live Chat. Of course, before we end the show, um, Tata, do you have any last words for any of your fans or anybody that follows you? Would you like to say anything to them? I just, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, I'm really proud of you guys. I love being there to support you. Um, I love reading all your comments and your life. Um, and thank you. Yes. Thank and you for being supporting me as well. You know. Much love to you too. And um, I love you guys. Yes. I love you. Um, before we sign off, um, I would like to do one thing just for the honor of you, because we can't we can't beat original OG from the movie, the first movie. I'm just gonna knock this off the wall. <gasps> what was that? 
She killed me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't you. Oh, wow. Where's your oh, is that yellow? <laughs> Who's that? Is that who was that? Show me, show me again. This one. Yeah. This one's uh... Put it closer. Oh, alien. Oh, there he is. There. Lewis has got the right one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that one looks more like it. That alien, that's a bit scary. Yes. E.T. for all. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, of course, you guys know me, Krishna, with the glasses. Loving the glasses. Being a nerd. Of course, we also have Austin. Austin, who is MIA, so we can't see his pretty face. Have a good night, guys. Love you all. And well as Lewis, who is, I think he's just ordered another pizza. <laughs> in Alpha. As oh, well as oh, our fine. special guest, uh, Peter Marie Rickson. Thank you so much for joining us. And before we Thank end you. the show, or let, end the broadcast, we would like to do our goodbye wave. So you guys, happy October. We will see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.